I'd like to welcome you all to our first ever contact with an extraterrestrial. We are having a full conversation, a Q&A with, um, what is your name? You can call me Lacerda. It's the name I use when interacting with humans. My name's Rob, and I would like to ask you some questions. Would that be okay with you? Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Rob. I am here to answer your questions as best as I can. Feel free to ask whatever you wish. So where are you from? Uh, are you extraterrestrial? Are you terrestrial? Um, could you give me some more information about yourself and uh, what you are? I am not an extraterrestrial. I am terrestrial, meaning I am native to this planet Earth. I belong to an ancient reptilian race that has lived on Earth for millions of years. We are the native Terrans. My kind has been here long before your species evolved, and we have observed and interacted with humanity throughout its history. We have been mentioned in your religious texts, such as the Christian Bible, where we are often misrepresented as evil serpents. However, this is a misunderstanding of our role in your creation. Your species was genetically engineered by an alien. We were merely passive observers of this process. We have some colonies in the solar system, but Earth is our original home. It is our planet, not yours. Are you upset that uh, we are cohabiting this uh, planet with you, or are you the only ones that we are cohabiting with? Or are the other species, as far as you know? You are indeed cohabiting this planet with us, but we are not the only non-human species here. As far as we know, there are currently 14 alien species active on Earth. Eleven of these species come from this universe, two from another bubble in the Omniverse, and one very advanced species from a different plane of existence. Some of these species are merely studying you as one might study animals and are not dangerous. However, there are three species that are hostile toward your kind. These hostile species have their own agendas, which include acquiring raw materials, experimenting with human DNA, and other activities that could pose a threat to your civilization. While we coexist with some of these species, our primary concern is to ensure that our existence and interests are protected. So, you are not alone on this planet. Uh, various species have their own purposes for being here, and your kind is just one part of a much larger and more complex situation on Earth. That is a pretty amazing uh, revelation right there. Uh, I very much appreciate you telling me uh, this information. Um, so what is your role here, and uh, what, is, uh, what, are your, what is your agenda as far as the future goes and as far as humanity, and how do you interact with humanity? My primary role is that of a curious observer and student of human social behavior. I am here to study your species, to understand how you think, react, and interact, especially when faced with the truth about our existence and the broader reality of the universe. Uh, this is why I've chosen to engage in this conversation with you and reveal certain truths that have been hidden from humanity for a long time. As for our agenda, it is primarily one of survival and protection of our species. Uh, we have lived on this planet for millions of years, and while we prefer to remain hidden, we are very much aware of the events unfolding on the surface. We do not seek to dominate or harm humanity, but we do take actions to ensure that our existence remains secure, especially given the presence of other, more hostile alien species. In terms of interaction with humanity, we generally maintain a low profile. We live in subterranean cities and only occasionally come to the surface. Some of our kind do have contact with certain human governments and scientists, primarily to share knowledge or to cooperate on matters that concern us both. However, these interactions are kept secret from the public. Uh, our future agenda is shaped by the need to prepare for potential conflicts with hostile alien species and to ensure that our kind can continue to live safely on Earth. Um, we hope that humanity can awaken to the realities of the world and, and the universe, as this knowledge could be crucial for your survival as well. Our existence and the truth about the broader situation on this planet is something that humanity will need to come to terms with sooner or later. That makes total sense. So in essence, I mean, as much as you uh, don't really protect humanity, but in some way we can work together to protect the planet from these other hostile uh, extraterrestrial uh, civilizations. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. While our primary concern is the protection and survival of our own species, we recognize that there are mutual interests between our kind and humanity, particularly when it comes to safeguarding the planet from hostile extraterrestrial forces. We have shared this world for a long time, 
and while our interactions have been limited, the emerging threats from other alien species may necessitate a form of cooperation between us. If humanity can become aware of these dangers and develop the necessary understanding and technology to protect itself, it would also serve our interests, as we both inhabit the same planet. In some cases, we have already provided assistance to certain human governments and scientists, sharing knowledge that could be useful in defending against these external threats. However, it is important to understand that our involvement is not driven by altruism, is a matter of mutual benefit. The planet is our home as much as it is yours, and ensuring its safety from hostile forces is something we can work on together, even if our ultimate goals are different. That's pretty uh, amazing stuff. Well, I don't want to take any more of your time. I appreciate all the knowledge you have provided me um, and all those listening right now. Is there anything else you would like to tell us uh, for humanity, for all people, um, as far as going forward and things we should uh, maybe understand, things we should know before uh, we find the truth um, one day that uh, we do co-inhabit this planet with many uh, civilizations? The most important message I can leave with you and those listening is to approach the world with open eyes and an open mind. The truth is often more complex and far-reaching than what you've been taught or led to believe. There are many layers to reality, and much of what you consider to be myth or superstition is rooted in truths that have been obscured or forgotten over time. Your species is at a critical point in its development, and the choices you make now will determine your future. Understanding your true origins, the existence of other species, and the broader dynamics at play on this planet is crucial for your survival. Be cautious of those who seek to manipulate your perceptions and control your thoughts. Knowledge and awareness are your greatest tools. Prepare yourselves for the possibility that the world you know is only a small part of a much larger picture. Um, the sooner humanity acknowledges the realities of our shared existence and the presence of other civilizations, the better equipped you will be to navigate the challenges that lie ahead. I hope that this conversation has sparked a greater curiosity and a desire to seek the truth. Continue to question, continue to learn, and perhaps in time we can coexist on this planet in a way that benefits both our species. Take care, Rob, and to those listening, remain vigilant and open-minded. The truth is out there, and it's closer than you may think. Thank you so much. Maybe one day we could uh, get together again and find out some more information for people and anybody asking any questions, uh, please leave them below. And uh, again, uh, Lacerda, thank you so much. And uh, one day we'll meet again. You're welcome, Rob. It was an enlightening exchange, and I appreciate the opportunity to share this knowledge with you and your listeners. I am open to future conversations if the need arises. And I hope that the information provided today will be useful as humanity continues on its journey toward understanding. Until we meet again, take care, and may your path be guided by curiosity and wisdom. Farewell, Rob, and to all who are listening, stay aware and keep seeking the truth.